So um, if, if any of you missed the receipts that were shared, um, if any of you missed the receipts that were shared, this was also in the receipts. Um, this is between Jeremy and the girl that, this is Ashley's friend that one basically was dealing with Jeremy first and Ashley ended up dealing with Jeremy after her. So it says, what the fuck? I don't want to say, what the fuck? What, what WTF wrong with your bum ass friend? She says, laugh out loud. She's not my friend, but what's up? This girl really trying to get some clout acting like she wasn't a homebreaker. Now, again, I'm not uh, condoning what Jeremy was saying, but um, Ashley's been, a, <laughs> Ashley's always been a side bitch. Um, that's what she likes. At least she wasn't, at least you wasn't going when you knew my situation. But this bitch acting like she, did, she didn't backdoor you or she ain't backdoor you. You the one that I wanted with me. You the one that wanted her so bad. I hate to say I told you so, but she ain't shit. Never been. That's why she talks so bad about me because, because she know. But you let her. So he said, I was being a nigga. We both know that. But you was right, though. She said, I have. And the friend says, I have. Um, respect for you and myself. That's what she was trying to say. Myself. That's the difference. So the friend is saying, Jeremy is saying, why? I mean, what, what do you think Jeremy was saying? What do y'all think Jeremy was saying? Do I think he was wrong? Do I think that I still think he was wrong? I still think Jeremy was wrong. But again, that was the situation. The second part of the message. When she was saying she had more respect for herself and then laugh out loud, but but shit, I could have told you she was going to try to copy your girl with the YouTube shit. She want to be her so bad, I could never want another woman's life. Laugh out loud. I could have told you she too hype for the attention. Shaking my, shaking my head. I knew it, but that's crazy, though, because she really trying to ride this shit out when she was for real, for real, side bitch, and that's all. This is from Jeremy's mouth, or this is from Jeremy. Left out loud. She, um, she's a hoe. That's all she know. Why you think she? Why? Why you think she can't keep a nigga and want and want everybody else's? But you allowed to, her to come up off of you and your relationship. Shit crazy. I didn't. I did. Um, shit crazy. I did not want no baby with her with this bitch um, or wanted her. Shit is crazy. Well, at least your son is handsome and healthy. But you better be in that child's life. He needs you, and it's your. It's your first son. It's okay, Sade. I'm just here to make sure people know the truth. I know some people didn't see the receipts, but And it's crazy that on a live the other night, I mean, Hazel said it out of her own mouth that Ashley just wanted attention. Did y'all see that?
Did anybody see that? Link to send money. Internationally, download the Western Union app. Available 24 7. The Western Union. Dawn, how do you feel I didn't back you guys up? And someone got doxxed. I created the private. My mistake was I thought somebody make me feel <laughs> all right, you guys. Hello. Hazel is here. Girl, you missed you spent a lot of time so i was nervous as anyone is in businesses when it's uh, like y'all are you know, apologetic about that but it, it was crazy monday was launch day i really didn't even realize what i was getting myself into trying to do it all but i learned my lesson so we'll be back monday but again Perry, thank you so relationships lifelong customers like i'm just so i really appreciate everything i appreciate you so much paris you have <laughs> ice and it ain't worth it ain't worth it like so what i do want to focus on is out to me it's extremely important like i'm trying to get a lifelong bond and lifelong relationships lifelong customers like i'm just trying to change the game i'm a young black entrepreneur and you know i'm all for whatever i'm for everybody winning if you want to win i'm with it and i really appreciate everybody like you know you my dog you know i got you <laughs> and um yeah i appreciate you so much girl like y'all are the girl. fucking best. I love the best. And <laughs> at the end of the day, I was gonna address the whole Ashley situation. I see so many of y'all keep asking about it. I'm not gonna do it because it ain't even worth it. It's too much good shit going on in my life, and it ain't worth it. Ain't worth it. Like so, what I do want to focus on is the positive stuff and the the next steps to come with whatever my life brings worth to me um and whoever stays stays and whoever doesn't doesn't and i'm not going to cry about it like it's, this, is a, this is a different ball game right here that i'm dealing with this is something that i've never dealt with before as far as my business is concerned and this is the thing that drives me and moves me and this is what keeps me up at night fuck all the drama and the bull that comes with being on youtube and that i kind of step into initially um but yeah i, I take every single opportunity that comes my way so for those of you that call me an opportunist, that word is not negative to me. Um, so I appreciate it though, because all publicity is good publicity and I don't give a damn where it's coming from. But thank y'all so much for supporting me. Um, I'm gonna keep it coming. I'm definitely gonna keep it coming and I look forward to having uh, Money Making Monday. It's Monday, I look forward to it y'all. Um, last Monday I definitely flopped and I'm extremely apologetic about that, but it, it was crazy. Monday was launch day. I really didn't even realize what I was getting myself into, trying to do it all, but I learned my lesson. So we'll be back Monday, but again, Perry, thank you so much for everything. I really, really, really appreciate you. You forgot to thank Keisha. Like wholeheartedly, you have been for me from day one. <laughs> reckless or not you've been supporting me you've been holding it down and I, I i can't do nothing but do the same thing to you like i'm behind you 10 toes we got content coming soon we're gonna get out of this shit out of this negative energy get away from all this negative energy and literally it's about winning at the end of the day it's about creating 
lifelong bonds and trying to figure out what you want to do with your life. The gossiping, the, the bullshit, the bickering, the social media stuff, it's okay. It's, it's what, you know, entertains people, but we need, we need to build things as a community. And I'm trying to start that for my community. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much, Paris. I cannot say that enough. <laughs> Thank you like, so much, Hazel. I feel the same way about you, girl. Like, like true sisterhood. I, I, I can't believe people and people question. But we can't believe it either. Like, this when you click, you just click. We're two strong, business-minded women that just click. You know. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's and it's genuine. important, y'all. It's important because when when it ain't. Sisterhood is a different type of ball game. Like, hold on, I'm about to find the clip. Hold on. Learn or I mean, and that's how I'm moving, and it's more. Like it's more sudden, especially since after the car accident, y'all. I don't know what that flipping around in the truck did to me. I legit came out of that looking like, okay, or you've been playing around, you've been in other people's business for two months. Get back to your grind, please. You have shit that you have coming up. You need to focus. You have kids. You have things that you got to do for yourself. Focus, focus, focus. Get back on what is for you. I struggle with trying to bring people to where I am and I cannot do that. Like that is what, you know, th those are one of the things, one of the character traits that I have that I'm trying to work on. Like I cannot save you from the inevitable. So you got people have to kind of move at their own pace. But, you know, I think a sisterhood and what I feel like you and I have built Paris is just that we piggyback ideas off of each other. It's not just about, um, it's not about the gossip thing. You know, if, if I feel like it's some bullshit to me, Paris, you know, I voice my opinion to you. I'm the same way on the screen and off the screen. You know, it's been times where things were said that I didn't agree with that you said, and I will tell you my opinion and you respect my opinion and it's vice versa. And it's like, I mean, that is, that's just what it is. And I feel like I've been, I'll be honest with you. I can be open with you. You can be open with me. If I feel like you're going down the wrong road, I'm like, Hey, let me reel you back in. Same thing. So I feel like that's what it's about. Hold on, I'm about like, the things that I am able to um, get out of it, like it's all worth it. Even if it's one or two genuine loyal people, even if it's like a, a room full of my cousins now, like the genuine supporters, I'm grateful for it all. I'm looking at the more positive things in life. Fuck the negativity. It's pointless. It does nothing. It drains people. And it's other things to, you know, we got work to do, Paris. Yeah, we have work bro. to do. We all have work to do. <laughs> and like, we all have work to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I saw somebody write. Um, what about me and Ashley, Valerie? Honestly, I'm gonna just leave y'all with this. When I bicker with people that I'm close with. I never bring my problems to social media ever. Not with somebody that I'm close with. Mm. And considering but you the key, that, you know. that is my best friend, or I don't even know what the situation is right now. I can't even say is. I'm gonna speak in past tense. Was so I would never bring my personal problems to the internet with someone that is near and dear to me. Like when I have a conversation with people, or when I have an issue with someone that is close to me. I, I talked to them directly. So it was really tacky for me to be attacked on social media when you have my number and you can call me and you can say how you feel. And I really feel like the situation was little. Um, a few of y'all have reached out to me in regards to the PO box because you guys can't seem to get a hold of her. And of course, the, the character trait is blame somebody so that no one's mad at her. Listen, there was a crane blocking the PO box. Um, and I haven't been able to ask at the PO box for a few. It's been like. What did she say? Blame everybody and do what? To me, I, I talked to them directly. So it was really tacky for 
me to be attacked on social media when you have my number and you can call me and you can say how you feel. And I really feel like the situation was little. Um, a few of y'all have reached out to me in regards to the PO box because you guys can't seem to get a hold of her. And of course, the, the character trait is blame somebody so that no one's mad at her. Listen, there was a crane blocking the PO box. Um, and I haven't been able to ask the PO box for a few. It's been like a week or two. It was a um, crane that was unstable and my PO box is literally right there. So we weren't able to access the PO box. Two days ago, I went to the PO box to try to uh, get the packages. The doors were locked. I couldn't gain access to the PO box. So therefore, um, no packages that were sent there, I didn't have access to for at least a week and a half. So once I was able to get, well, once I'm able to get back to the PO box, I was told they opened today, but I didn't make it today. Um, but I will go there tomorrow. Those of you that have DM'd me because you haven't been able to get in touch with her, I will find out where your packages are because they are going to my PO box. I'm not holding them hostage. I don't want the packages. August will have his packages for his birthday. I know how important that is to y'all. It's not one or two people that have reached out to me in regard to that. The PO box is my PO box and I will make sure that he gets his gift. Um, as far as like anything else is concerned, like I really don't have I really don't have many words for it. I don't want to, um, I don't want to. Over there, it's a task manager. It's a project manager. It's a so <laughs> But they want to know how long I have known Keisha. <laughs> They said that I don't know Keisha. That's what they said. So you mean to tell me that after y'all did the day of reckoning and all of that, now you realize that this person, you don't want nobody to come to social media with their problems. You don't want people to come to social media with their problems. You think that you're over the drama when you were the voice for this person. My thing is nobody, nobody wants to apologize. Nobody wants to thank Keisha. Nobody. Am I, am I tripping? But I'm crazy. I'm just saying. So let me show you what they said. <laughs> Thank her for what exactly? You want me to start with JM? Who, who, who do you want me to start with? Because what I think they should be thanking Keisha for, Keisha, Kaylee is the reason they are getting a check. Keisha Kaylee is the reason Ashley can now feed her son and not go to the strip club. She doesn't have to go. They use the term friend loosely for a come up. You're right. And I'm just going to show y'all what happened when I said that I was Keisha's friend. Let, let's go. Let's go. Let, let's go back to low life Nia. Let's go 
back to low life Nia when I decided to jump in her chat. Okay. Well, guess what? I showed. Um, so hey, I'm hold on. You hold were on. not her friend. Oh, yeah. You were her last what the Grammarly can help you write quickly and confidently, so you never this have what to I had to do. at work. Instant corrections make your writing mistake free. While keeping hey, don't, don't, uh, what that's you mean? The point. This is somebody who know her that's for a year. Somebody that know all of your no, don't have, don't have it's about all me. Let me finish. This is when we're not gonna that's do that. I'm gonna finish. Y'all just stay on writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct. Wait, listen. What I'm saying is, there's no possible way you can tell me it, it makes more sense for you all to tell me that I don't know Keisha or that I'm just the last You don't. And a girl, a girl, a few girls that got on the internet. Okay. Well, guess what? I showed my receipts. And guess what? They didn't show me. Girl, you showed a piece so, of Yeah, now y'all, like, like I said. Hello? Like I said. Hello? Like I said. I know that people, I know that people don't like to hear the truth, but that's what it is. And that's why. That's why you so y'all asked why did you did she show receipts? Because when she didn't show receipts, y'all said y'all wanted receipts. So now she's showing But she receipts. not she so, not dropping receipts. You dropping receipts. Okay, so well, what? Hazel dropped Dumb receipts. Y'all didn't have she a problem. Hazel she had a problem. Hazel receipts. dropped receipts. Y'all didn't have a problem with that. Out. Here she goes talking loud. That's it. So, so that's all I had to say. Here she goes talking loud. Shut it down, me. Shut it down. It is. Get somebody else to speak. What in the world? Continue with the lie. Me. Okay. And then when they want to just make one point, y'all. So no, it's impossible. But you you can't come on here and you. I wasn't talking to y'all. I wasn't talking to y'all. What you say, girl? I mean, man. Hello, me. Yeah, me, just the last check with 54 charges and all of that. That's me. It. Yeah. <laughs> can I just be Can everybody just speak for just one second and just let me tell this to me for one thing? And y'all can say, and I'm going to get off. And I'm going to get off. Me, this is for you and your. No, it's just me. I don't, really? I don't really Can I don't just tell me one thing. I just was on and I just was speaking about them spirits. Oh, then that, he just playing. that lady wanted to talk about the cards and stuff. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying, y'all hear how they come at me about being Keisha's friend. They didn't give a fuck up. They didn't care about Hazel. Let's go. Let's see if we got more. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct. But when this stuff first initially popped off, let's hit dumb so, dumb Nia again. And my title was Keisha Kaylee, why are you seeing the receipts? And I was basically just saying, won't you just handle your own wax? Why do you have somebody else handling your wax for you? You keeping all the drama going on with sending things behind the scenes. Oh, but God. When you press record, you want to act as if you're innocent and you're not doing anything. And oh, what God. did I do so wrong? Now, the whole situation did die down a whole lot. But out of the blue, as you guys can see, me D. She just comes out the woodwork and starts dropping Blossing on these nicks. Start talking about the situation on the strength of Keisha Cable. And so I have the live recap and I'm gonna play it. And she basically was just talking about how you guys are going to be mad at me for defending Keisha, but and no one is mad at Ashley. Hey, see, this is the difference here. The only reason why y'all situations are different is because since day one, Hazel came on this platform defending Ashley off top. Now, this situation. Oh, God, this is the problem that I have with ignorant ass people. They don't know the facts, Nia. You're so stupid. We should get the facts before you report on anything. Jesus. The situation been going on for a long period of time. And you said that you are Keisha Kaylee friend. We all are having a hard time trying to understand why are you just now coming out saying something? You've been quiet for the longest. So it's kind of. Hey, guys, did I show you that I wasn't quiet for the longest? Did I, did I did I show you even if I was quiet the longest? I let it go on. I let it go on. OK. JM, what you trying to find out? I probably could. I, I probably can direct you to whatever it is you're trying to find out. Okay. Like, if you've been her friend, 
why haven't you been there since day one when this stuff first initially popped off? Mm. So that's where a lot of people is confused at. Where have you been? For you to be friends with Keisha for what, seven years? Where you been at? <laughs> and not only that, if you've been her friend, then why didn't Keisha Kaylee get you to speak out about the situation instead of Brit? Who cares? I'm not understanding. She had a YouTube. I didn't. Duh. Now, me personally, my personal opinions, I can't say that this is what happened. But to me, I feel like Keisha Kaylee wanted you to be that voice for her because she didn't have anyone on her end being as vocal as Hazel is for Lily. And I think she picked the perfect person because, you know, no shade, you do have a background. And then Keisha Real is kind of... Do y'all understand why I think people are so stupid? What the f does my background have to do with Keisha wanting me to speak for her? What school did you go to, Nia? No offense, but I think you're dumb. No offense, Nia. I think you're an idiot. And I think you should go back to the grocery store where you came from. Like, oh, I can get her to scare them because she's been to prison. <laughs> you know what I mean? What? <laughs> I can shut y'all up now. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Newsflash, Nia. I know you're ignorant. I know you're ignorant. Newsflash, Nia. <clears throat> I went to prison 10 years ago for four months, dumbass. Four months. Why you don't know your facts. You don't know my record. You don't know me. But since your stupid ass wanted to say that it was because I know exactly how I'm going to chop this video. This part is for you, Nia. Part two is for your dumbass. I'm back on your stupid ass. So, yeah. Since. Hazel has been here for two months with Keisha, you know, just two months. And Keisha got me to get on here and speak on her behalf because I went to prison. So I stepped on here and said, hello, guys. Yeah, I'm stepping up for Keisha. I went to prison. Blah, who wants some? Did I do that? <laughs> Did I do that, dumb, dumb Nia? Low life Nia? My life is low, Nia. Did I do that? Did I get on here and say, hey, low life, Nia, I went to prison. I'm on you. What's up? Blah, we on the internet beefing. What's up? Who wants some Adebo? Who wants some Oh, did I hit you again? Who wants some Adebo? Did I do that? No. Or did I get on the internet and as soon as I defended Keisha, they said, she went to prison. She's a criminal. Lock her up. That's what happened, Nia. Get your facts together. I didn't 